Now with any crop sensor camera, you may find that your proclaimed wide angle lens isn't quite as wide as you would like it to be. Bloody hell, that's a bit tight, ain't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a bloody 12 foot arm. But today we get to test out a true wide angle lens by Yongnu. This is their brand new 11mm f1.8 super wide lens. Now before we look at some of the specs of this lens and its image quality, let's just check out how wide this lens really is. Here is a 23mm lens on a Sony A6700. So we've now put the young new 11mm f1.8 lens onto our Sony a6700 and first impressions are it feels really high quality and very well balanced. What we'll do we'll pull it onto our tripod as before. Now the clip you just saw was from a 23mm lens. Let's see what a difference it makes with the young new 11mm. And this is the field of view from an 11mm lens. Let's swap back to the 23mm and back again to the 11 and that shows you just how wide an 11mm lens is on a crop sensor body. So as you saw there, the 11mm makes such a massive difference over the 23mm, which equates to a 35mm on a full frame camera. It really opens up that view. Now if you're wondering what it looks like in a vlog style setup, this is it right here. I'm holding the Sony a6700 at arm's length with the 11mm lens on the camera. And this is what you can expect the field of view to look like. In my opinion, this is a perfect lens for them vlog style setups. And if you're wondering why the camera is shaking so much, it's because I've had four cups of coffee this morning. Now coming in at a price of only 250 UK pounds or 270 US dollars, this would be considered a budget friendly option for a wide angle E-mount lens. It comes with an all metal construction, and it comes with a weather sealing gasket to keep out dust and moisture, which at this price point is really nice to see. Now the autofocus speed of this lens is nice and snappy, with only the slightest of motor noise coming from the focus motors. And another amazing feature of this lens is just how close you can get to your subject with a minimum focus distance of only 15 centimeters from your camera sensor. And with the lens coming in at only 12 centimeters in length, this means your subjects are almost touching the front of the lens. Now with the Sony Eye Detect focus system and the camera in video mode, the lens's focus was incredibly fast and accurate and was able to stick to me like shit on a blanket. The focus breathing is minimal on the lens and its focus performance punches well above its price point. And with that minimum focus distance of only 15 centimeters, you're going to have no problem making yourself look a little bit special. The lens also comes with one customizable button on the left hand side, a switch that I will tell you more about later on in the video, a USB-C port for firmware updates, a manual aperture ring, and a switch on the right hand side that can make this manual aperture ring click or be smooth. The lens also comes with an incredibly smooth focus ring which at this price point again is absolutely fantastic. It also comes supplied with a sun hood and the outer lens diameter is 58mm should you want filters. Overall the build quality of this lens for the price is exceptional. Now I could show you graphs and charts to show you the sharpness and clarity of this lens, but what I like to do in my review videos is take it out into the real world and let you see example shots of what this lens is capable of. So let's go do that right now. Now all the photos are going to be straight out of the camera and I'll show you the settings on the screen, but it's also worth noting that we had the white balance set to auto. Now taking a closer look at the images, the center sharpness is fantastic and the edges of the image are only just slightly softer, which for an ultra wide lens is very impressive. And with it being an ultra wide lens and so sharp in the center, 
it's fantastic should you need to crop into your images. As always, let me know what you think to the clarity and quality of the images in the comment section below. And because this lens comes with an aperture of f1.8, you're going to have no problems in them low light situations. With this aperture and minimum focus distance of this lens, you're also going to get fantastic creamy backgrounds and excellent bokeh. Now taking a closer look at image quality, as you can see the center is super sharp, and if we go to the outer edges, it's only ever so slightly softer. Now you may hear people saying that using an ultra wide lens doesn't take much skill to take photos, but I think personally it's the opposite. Using an ultra wide lens to take amazing photos is actually really hard to do and requires a lot of skill. Let me know what your favourite focal length is in the comment section below. Now I did say that I was going to tell you what that switch is on the left hand side of the lens. Now if you thought it was for different focus modes or stabilisation, you would be wrong. It's for enabling or disabling the remote control that can be purchased separately for this very lens. Yes, you heard that correct. You can buy a wireless remote for this very lens. Now, I've not had chance to fully review this remote control with this lens, so I'm going to hold off doing that for a future video. So if that is of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But what I can tell you, the remote does. It can take control of your focus, your aperture, or start stop recording or even take photos as well as many other things and when you consider that you can purchase the remote control with the lens for only 20 pounds more it really is a no-brainer so what is my final conclusion to this lens then well when you consider the autofocus performance the exceptional build quality its center sharpness and ultra wide viewing angle its compact size and its 260 gram weight Plus the fact that you can purchase a wireless remote to control the lens. And when you consider that all of this comes in at under 250 UK pounds, 270 US dollars, which is half the price of the Sony 11mm f1.8 lens, it really is fantastic value for money. If you're in the market for an ultra wide APS-C lens, then definitely check out the Yongnu 11mm f1.8 you will not be disappointed i will leave links to this very lens in the description and in the top pinned comment now if you've enjoyed this content please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see further content from myself hit that subscribe button but that's it for now we'll catch up in that next video see you soon everyone